Those who are wise will shine brightly, like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Well, welcome to our first graders from Old St. Mary's School, as always, so glad to have you with us. Uh, today is the memorial of St. John Chrysostom, uh, and uh, today I think many people know that preaching is very important to our uh, Paulus Fathers community, and so part of our training is uh, getting the opportunity to preach as much as we can. Uh, so today, our seminarian, Paulist Chris Lawton, will be offering our reflection. And so, brothers and sisters, let's take a moment now to call to mind our sins, trusting that God is always loving and merciful. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. You are the Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those whose hope is in you who willed that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering. Grant us, we pray, that instructed by his teachings, we may be strengthened through the example of his invincible patience. For Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this I was appointed preacher and apostle, I am speaking the truth. I am not lying. Teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish, then, that in every place the men and women shall pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Hear the sound of my pleading when I cry to you, lifting up my hands toward your holy shrine. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I find help. Then my heart exalts, and with my song I give him thanks. The Lord is the strength of his people, the saving refuge of his anointed. 
Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them and carry them forever. Alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I'm not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, But say the word, and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The Gospel of the Lord. So when I reflect on my life as a Catholic and as a Christian, I can say to you honestly that I don't think I would be standing with you in this church on a Monday morning were it not for some pretty incredible models of faith in my own life. People who, in their witness, have inspired me to a deeper relationship with God. And I suspect that I'm not alone in that. I suspect that others of you are here because someone was a witness for you a model of what faith in a God of love looked like and felt like. Don't we need models like that? Don't we need people who inspire us in that way? It seems that Jesus knows this intuitively because as we hear today in Luke's gospel, Jesus has just finished words to his people, an extended teaching or sermon to them. But when he's done, teaching about faith, he offers the people, his disciples, an example of what that faith looks like, a model they can hang their hats on. And that model is the Roman centurion, a Roman military official, not necessarily a disciple, not even a Jewish man, but someone who teaches us something valuable about what that model of faith is. And it begins with a life lived acting in accordance with the love of God. The Roman centurion wants to save the life of his slave, a slave who was property, dispensable, subhuman. And yet translators and scholars say that while we hear the words here that he was valuable, others argue that the word might more be he was precious, he was dear to the Roman even loved by the Roman, a model of God's love. The Jewish people who come to Jesus say, this man has shown love for our nation. A Roman showing love, support, and concern for the Jewish people would have been countercultural. The Jews often despised by the Roman people. Again, actions to support the building of a synagogue, a place of worship, 
going against the grain of society to show and reflect a deep and profound love for one another. And more than these acts of love, the Roman centurion comes before Jesus, a man of great earthly power, and says, in the face of suffering and death of my beloved slave, Jesus, I am powerless. I am powerless to save and to heal, and I am entirely dependent on you. Only your words have the power now. A model of faith in action of love and in trust and humble dependence on God. Jesus gives us the Roman centurion, and our own day gives us other models of faith as well. It didn't end with that model 2,000 years ago. Who are your Roman centurions in your life today? Those surprising witnesses to faith. I think in my own life of family and friends who face suffering and death, the things that seem insurmountable, and find a way to trust God in those moments of greatest need. I think about Pope Francis who breaks cultural and societal norms and serves, offers acts of love for people far beyond our Catholic world. Who are they for you? Today, whether we're in first grade or far beyond it, we give thanks for the models of faith in our lives, and we pray that we too might be that witness so that we inspire and spread the faith in our God of love everywhere we go. Let us now stand and bring our prayers to our loving Father who hears us. We pray for the church that we may love one another as Christ has loved us. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who lead us in our society, that they would care for those whom are at least in our midst. We pray for the poor, for the oppressed, for all those whose voices are not heard. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick for all those suffering in mind and body or spirit. We pray for those suffering from addiction and from mental illnesses. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died, for all of our beloved dead who have gone before us in faith, and for all those who mourn. We pray to the Lord. We take a moment now to call to mind all the prayers in silence on our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. We ask you, O good and loving Father, to hear our prayers. We make them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
May the sacrifice which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom be pleasing to you, O God. For taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other some sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.